so I managed to get some guns and I did what I could do, the best, by cover for the first one. Mm -hmm. And I did it, then they never got it. Let's hurry up, run, run! Oh. I don't know where the phone is. Oh my god. Lee, you couldn't write that! Is this is five thousand pounds even worth it? Mate, when you get to Monaco, run. Just run. Morning and welcome to Brussels. How was everyone's night last night? Fantastic. Great, mate. Cold. Well done to everybody for getting here. Um, how was everyone's first day? How did everybody find it? Pretty hard, yeah, challenging. Yeah. Who's winning today? We'll see. <laughs> He's running we'll there. <laughs> so, has anybody got any money left from any money they earned or received yesterday? Like 10 euro? 10 euro? Um, I haven't checked. So, I'm going to come and collect that now. Thanks for raising that for the bridge retreat. Really appreciate it. Okay, there you go. Thank you. There you go. Awesome. Don't have any. None at all? None. Any? Oh, Ricky. Mula. Thank you, mate. Mula, mate. Awesome. So here I've got about 40 euros. So awesome. Cheers, Ricky. Thanks for that, mate. Right, today's destination is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. As a little incentive for the first person who gets there, they're gonna have a hotel room all for themselves. The other four are gonna be in the cheapest hostel I could find in Paris. So good luck today. And is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. Right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wounded, because I've been stripped of like 30 euro, which I was hoping would completely set me up for today. I think, it, yeah, like 30, 35 euro. So I'm literally back to flat broke. Idea today, I would earn some money, maybe working in a coffee shop or hitchhiking. So from here, everyone has to get to Paris and get to the Eiffel Tower. And of course, here we get our first big reward, as Simon said, is having a hotel room to themselves. So that's exciting. I think everyone will be really like hard pushed this time just because they know they've got something to look forward to at the end of it. Maybe I should try and hitch a ride in this one today. So I was just speaking to a German gentleman who's also a tourist in Brussels and he said to me my best mode of transport is probably going to be the train. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down there and we're going to try and blag the train. Oh my God, look at the state of these. We're going to have to get one of these, mate. There is no way I'm going to Brussels and not get one of these. Basically, I'm trying to get to Brussels, central Brussels, where uh, the Grand Palace is, the Grand Palace. Yeah, you can uh, go by metro. Oh, is it, does that just sit there? Yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> central Station is maybe the, the five uh, stop after this. Oh, five stop Central yeah, Station so after. Big building there. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Not the choice. Do you think I could have a look on your phone just to see uh, for a coach or something? That's 24.99 euros. So if I can make 30 euros, then I'll be laughing. Look what I found in the bathroom. So we're gonna try and blag the Metro with this. Found it on the ground in the bathroom. So let's uh, go and find out, will it work? Central oh, there, yeah. So it's Wait, are you one, sure we're not, two, are three, we not four, at this one? Five, six, mm -hmm. we're here, look. So it must be this one, because it's like colored look, in. Look, Ah. Round of applause for you. Good job. Yeah. She has a ticket as well. Where'd you get that from? Look what I found. Yeah, but you don't even fine. know if it works, Gordon. No, but all I have to do is follow. All I have to do is follow someone in through the turnstiles and get on it. Oh wait, get that one out the bin. I mean, should I just do that as well? I was joking, Gordon. I was joking. Gordon, grab I was. It, grab it. Dude, what are you doing? Do you want to? Let me see where it's actually going to. What is this? We plenty go through trash to get a ticket. What? It's a ticket, like? Do you, do you want to? Do, do you want to blag the drain or what? Yeah, I can't. I can't go dumpster diving for all of us. I think job. If I can get, if I can nail a job, a job is going to a hundred percent. I'll feel reassured. I think a job would be better than the trades because trades is going to be a, like a whole day hustle. Plan is to sneak on the train. So. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, so we're in. This should hopefully take us more towards the coach station and then I can find a cafe and a slightly busier place so that we can um, earn some money. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I wish it was busier so it'd be a little bit less awkward if you're like running up behind someone. Something like that. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, loving it's it, it's good. Hey, you made a new friend there. <laughs> It's a video as well. Yeah. If I ring him, can he help me? This number? Yeah, yeah he can help me. Okay. What with? Who is this? Whose number Sass is this? Sassemois. Sassemois. Oh, the vice president? Yes. <laughs> of what? Vice president, this sir. Oh, Are you the vice president? Yes. Ah, you can help me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mate, have you seen how nice these are? What actually is it? Is it just a marshmallow? Oh, yeah. No, oh, mate, it's a Moran. Hi, how are you? Um, is it possible to have the La Magnifique, please? And the Le Merveilleux? Yes. Did I say that right? No. No. <laughs> ah, not too bad. Uh, just one of each, please. Yep, yeah, perfect, thank you. This is a crazy idea. How about you give me I don't know, five euro for this ketchup bottle. I think I'll find someone who would do that. But right now, I need to get to a hotel. I need to sit down in front of a computer and we need to figure out what we're doing. So I have to sneak on with you. I have to sneak no, behind. you don't have to sneak Ah, oh, you don't have to? No. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, that's good. So when, right, so I go there, then is it just one train to Paris, just one? How many times does it stop? Because I'm trying to get on with no ticket. <laughs> You go to Arlois, you change, you take another metro to Algarve-Midi. Algarve-Midi. Algarve I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You take the train, Thalys, to Paris. So what we did was we managed to get on the metro with these. So now we're going to head um, to the train station, try and get the train from Brussels to Paris. So that's, that's the plan now. Hello. I was wondering if you had any samples at all today. Uh, any, samples, uh, anything that I could try? Okay, great. Do you have a like, computer access here, like a computer business, lobby? No. Or no, business, business only? Center. No, no, no problem. Okay, is there any possible, uh, if I can ask you for information? So, do you know mannequin piece? Do I have what? Mannequin piece. The, the a child, it's a little boy, who's make pipi. Uh, the little boy that makes... For the juice, I give you something back. I'd love to do a quick drawing of you. Is there, is there a bus that's cheaper, like a Flix bus? Flix maybe? bus, yes, there's one behind the, the station. Yeah. All right, I need you to stay in that position for the... I need to finish the drawing. So we've got multiple people in a car that they can take me for 25 euro. We have the Flexi bus for yeah. maybe 30, and then we have hitchhiking from the same place. Oh, the same place. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, it's cool. You like it? I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll figure out a way. I always do. I'll smile, sing songs and stuff. Okay. It'll work out. But it was lovely to meet you both. Have a great day. Bye. I don't know what the hell just happened. Thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate that and hope you enjoy your journey. No worries. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. I don't think this is impossible. I'm starting to feel better about it. I'm actually starting to feel better, but I don't want to hitchhike. I'd rather get that money and, and then get to that station and pay for a ticket and just go. Oh, sorry. So the train stops and it starts beeping and we were kind of standing there as if to say, why isn't uh, this train moving? Next thing, three of the biggest security guards I've ever seen got on the metro and were like basically telling us to get off the train. And I was like, yeah, this, this is where I go to a Belgian prison and I'm never seen again. So he said, do you have authorization to film on the train? I said, oh no, no, we only got to Brussels last night. He said, okay, okay, that is okay. Do you have tickets? So I pulled out the ticket and I, I started rattling because usually they have scanners. And so I looked at it, ah, oh, that is fine. So I stopped shaking now, so I have to try and figure out how I'm going to get to Paris from this point. So if it turns out anything like that, I could be in a Belgian prison by the end of the day. So let's go. Got the, the main train station that'll take us to Paris. There's buses from here as well. So I'm going to try 
see what route the bus goes and see if I can get onto the highway that'll take us the route to Paris and see if we can maybe like hitchhike or get a lift from there. Feeling a bit more revived, getting through this juice, going down nicely. What I need to do is locate where the coach station is and see if I can either sneak on or uh, pay for the ticket. Found the Hilton Hotel, gonna see if there's a spa inside. See if we can just try and get into it basically. Simon does it, we could do it, or oh, I could do it I should say. Hi, excuse me, would you have a piece of paper that I could have? Can you read it from there? <laughs> do you think I can make 25 euros with this? This is what I got given. No. <laughs> Not possible. No. That's, that's nothing. <laughs> that's just the warehouse where the tables are. There's definitely not a spot here. <laughs> definitely not. Do you want to trade my ketchup bottle for a ticket? If you add mayo, I will do it. If what? <laughs> if you add mayonnaise, I will do it. Really? <laughs> no. I'll swap this for mayonnaise and come back. <laughs> Hilton Hotel in Brussels, not worth it at all. Don't even bother. Okay, let's get that timetable, 25, 30, I need 30 euro because it's a five pound booking fee as well. What if I told you um, I needed to get to Paris, but with no money? This is the latest one. Oh my God, f that's three left. It's the only thing that I can Okay, okay, that's really good and thank you so much. Uh, how long do I have? Basically, this is looking like, unless I do this now, I've got to find 30 euro and I've got to catch the 12.50 and it's 12.28 now, so it's just, it doesn't look great. Um, I spoke to a lady, she said that she'll give me a 15% discount on my travel ticket. There are two tickets left and one coach is leaving for Paris in 20 minutes. Do you think it'll work? 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 Will it work, getting a lift from the road? Trying? <laughs> Bye. Bye <laughs> That's like what everyone does to me whenever they can't understand what I'm saying. So they're just like, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Make some money to buy for a train ticket, sneak on a train, or ask someone if I could work there, get a bit of food. I'm not that hungry at the moment. It's two, two options, so I'm going to have a crack at one of them and then I'll have a crack. Jeez, I sound like Gordon. Have a crack at that, like... What was that? That's not going in. That was dreadful, that accent. So currently, I'm waiting to get a, trying to get a bus to Perry. I have no ticket, so it's, it's going to be a strange one. This is going to be not fun. We're going to have to do a bit of work and to try and get some money for a ticket because it's going to be pretty expensive. So from here, straight yeah, that way. Yeah, yes. Thank you yes, so, so no much. Problem. Thank you so much. It's a for you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. The person who did this has given me this. Yes, ketchup. Yeah, ketchup, I know. Yes. Because I have nothing on me. Would you give me anything for this or no? No, no, no. no. Ketchup for me. No. I know, I know. Yeah, 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 sucre. So ask them if yes, they want this. Change, change Trade? Me. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll try that. Thank yes, you so thank much. You, thank yeah. you. Uh, last night, Bethany was telling me that whenever she was hitchhiking yesterday, she only had to wait about 15-20 minutes before people stopped to pick her up. So I'm hopeful that this will work and hopefully we won't have to wait hours at a time before we get somewhere else. <laughs> God, they're so good! This is a hidden gem I bet no one else has found. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling out a sign here and uh, on my sign I'm going to write, we'll eat packet of biscuits and ketchup for X amount of money. 20 euros, maybe? Guys, guys, do any of you speak English? Yes. Oh, wicked. Okay, so basically, oh, I'm gonna- no, we're not from here. You don't have to be from here. Okay. So, would any of you give me something for this? I have a gum. I'm drawing people because I need to get a coach to uh, Paris okay. today. Okay. And I was wondering if I draw you, you can help me out a little bit. I don't know who would take this, but obviously if, the idea is to Trade keep trading higher, higher. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not even a couple of coins, a couple of euros. Okay. Um, all right, man. Sorry, yeah. If you want to do five euro, hope to God I can make that work. Um, okay, let's do the trade. Let's do the trade. Okay, so. What are you doing in Paris? So I'll explain the whole thing, right? So I'm an artist based in London, um, and at the moment I'm on this crazy challenge. Yeah. If you, if everything goes wrong, you can buy another ketchup for... Yeah, no, hun this is a 100% thank you so much, a better trade. But now I just need to make this work. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I think I've got your, I think the highlight is your um, turtleneck. It's good, right? Yeah. Super, yeah, super yeah, good. Super, <laughs> super. <laughs>
Yeah, no, thank you guys. That was it. Literally, thank you so much for everything. All right, guys, take care. Take care. Bye bye bye. So we got five euro for the ketchup bottle. For oh, 15. 15. We're literally almost there. This is unbearable. If you want to contribute. Oh, I, I'll, I'll eat the biscuit. No problem at all. Oh my, you've made my, come here. <laughs> I've got a feeling that someone's just going to pull something crazy out with that, with the trade on that ketchup bottle. A big old biscuit, like with ketchup on it. Oh. Mm -mm. So um, yes, I have my sign here that says that uh, I'll eat a wooden rich tea biscuit with ketchup for two euro. I ate the rich tea biscuit, and it's possibly one of the worst things I've ever tasted in my life. So I only have to do this ten more times. 11 more times, maybe. I don't. Oh, no worries. I can, I can push it over. No, 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 but I Thank you so much. Five minutes, bro. Five minutes. Worst case, we've got 3 p.m. So I'm meeting you now, this is it? Thank you. So at 2.30, you should do the check-in in the other office. 2.30? I thought it was for one o'clock. Ah, so one is one is done. Stop over for a coffee there, and we can go up to uh, the border. Okay. Oh, okay. Then it will be easier for you. It's quite okay. okay. Are you sure you're not so, busy? Are you too busy? busy to do? Oh, I couldn't they can do. Wait, they can wait. Oh my, I couldn't do that to you if it's too far away or anything. Not too far, you know. What is too far? I'm traveling. I don't know, ten thousand kilometers. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so kind of you. If you really, we're sure, sure, sure you're not busy or you don't mind at the moment, that'll be really helpful. <laughs> it smells so nice as well. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Hopefully, the next few days go okay. Yeah, yeah. We need to be positive. Mm -hmm. If you are positive, nice thing will happen to you. Yeah, definitely. Do you, do you think hitchhiking is the best way to get from country to country? <laughs> So the plan now is, with my sign, I'm just going to write Paris and see what happens. This would be absolutely ideal if somebody pulled in and just was like, yeah, we're going to Paris, get in. I traded up that bottle and I do feel a little gutted. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> mate, I'm, fucking, I'm good, mate, how are you? Mate, seeing as I bumped into you, I'm not even asking what it is, man. Enjoy. You, what is it? Mate, Brussels meringues. Mate, this is getting traded straight away, you mate. Traded it? Oh, mate, if mate, you don't eat them. There's, not, there's not a chance that I'm eating that, mate. How are you getting on? Man, I've managed to trade the ketchup bottle. You've traded the ketchup bottle? Yeah, I, I'm, a, you... I'm a bit gutted about the ketchup bottle. The, th the thing with the How ketchup bottle. How did you bottle, trade it? So basically, I approached someone and said, look, this is going to sound completely random. In the street? Yeah. Mate, I need, every credit. I need to get to Paris and I've got a ketchup yeah. bottle. Do you want to trade up? And yeah. they were like, I think one of them basically knew about the trade up. Like the paper cut Yeah, exactly, challenge. exactly. So the same yeah. as paper cut challenge. And they were just like, you know what? We can give you like five euro for it. Yeah. So I was like, 100% I'll take that. On the flip side of that, I'm like, could I have got more yeah. for that ketchup bottle? Yeah. So again, it's five euros is mate, a good it, return I, I, on a ketchup bottle. Mate, I'm on the start of five euros in my pocket. Do you know what I mean? Well, mate, you've got that. And see if you can like maybe buy something with the five euros and sell that for more. You flip that. I'm not being funny, but if you're selling one ketchup bottle for five euros, yeah, surely. We like obviously, I know that could be a one-off, but you could buy five ketchup bottles with that five euros and mate. sell them for five apiece. True. True. Yeah. Have a good one, mate. Cheers, mate. mate, good luck. Mate, I'm see gonna need Paris. it. Mate, I'll see you in Paris. <laughs> see you in a bit. Well, my opinion in life that sometimes we we don't do what we want. I do whatever I can to fulfill my dreams. I don't want to to think, oh, I should have done this or that. No, I fulfill my dream. I'm ready to go. Ciao, arrivederci. <laughs> that's my philosophy. That's amazing. That is. That's something you should live by. Thank you so much. Thanks. Night. Thank we're going to Paris. Hello, I was just wondering if you could help me. I'm travelling across Europe with no money. I'm just seeing if like, I could do an exchange with places where I could like, like I can't buy any food, if I can work for you for a bit and then we could do like an exchange of any sort. Do you speak English? Sorry, yeah, I should have asked that first. Just, I, I sold the ketchup bottle for five euro and I managed to find these chocolate dessert things. Would, could you guys help me? 
Like, you can look at them, they're not even been open. If I like do an exchange or like I wash some dishes or I like ah, clean okay, okay. something thoroughly. But I just need like, no, no. Okay, thank you so much anyway. Thank you, thank you. No, no, that's all right. Oh, it's always sorry. worth asking. That's okay, have a lovely day. Thank you. Hitchhiking, awful. Didn't work. Nobody stopped. People started shouting abuse. It just was horrible. So I said I'd stroll back to the train station to see could we get a bus or something along those lines. Run down shopping centre. We might be in luck here. <laughs> when in Brussels, go to the cinema. <laughs> We've managed to get into the cinema with this Spanish film, with this class or something. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to work and she just kind of waved me in. But may have been able to get a free movie, not that I speak any Spanish, hope there's subtitles. Excuse me guys, guys, does any, do any of you speak English? Amsterdam, Brussels, nothing. Brussels, Paris, nothing. So I need money to get to Paris. So would anyone want to help me 10 euro so I can go to Paris? I know, but these, are, they look quite nice. I haven't opened them, they're like two chocolate cakes. So... <laughs> You can look, you can look, have a look, like the two chocolate cakes. Um, yeah? Oh my god, thank you guys, thank you guys. This is really appreciated. We just made 10 euro from two cakes and we're going to Paris. We're going to attempt this, but guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, what the heck just happened? Literally snuck in with the school group sat down, the woman just waved us in, loads of seats, really nice cinema, French film, no, Spanish film, French subtitles, woman behind us, is, I didn't know if it was like a school group, what, she's giving us sweets, like, oh no, take more, take more, we're munching on the sweets, that was alright, wasn't it? Gordon Forbes, I wonder how he's getting on. Mr. Simon Wilson, how are you, sir? How are you getting on today, mate? How's it going? It was a, it's a, been a rocky start. Um, security is tight everywhere, and like, it, there's just a no, there's no go. I got pulled off a of metro by security. It's been a topsy turvy day, hitchhiking, not working. But we've, we've had a small bit of success, you could say. Obviously, I have no ticket for the, the train, so I went up to the ticket desk and I said, Sorry, I'm after breaking my phone. Uh, it's water damaged, I can't turn it on. And my, my train ticket is on it. So the lady said, do you have a second name? I said, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's Forbes, F-O-R-B-E-S. She said, what's the first name? And I said, what do you mean? And she goes, oh, well, I have Mark, Connor. I dead looked her in the eye, it's Connor. She goes, Connor Forbes. I was like, yeah, that's it. She's after writing me out an authorization access ticket for the train. So this wasn't on the train, this was at the train station? Th th this is at the ticket desk, yeah. Well, fingers crossed, mate, if you can do that. The hotel room's still up for grabs, mate, so the sooner you can get there, the better. Honestly, mate, well done. Quick thinking, I like it. I was in a difficult situation, and no, I had other possibilities to, to, to work in a factory. No, I preferred to do something, to get money quickly, with risk, with action. Need to go holler the blah blah bus, because blah blah's meant to be mega cheap. I need an office, man. That's The problem is I need an office, because if I don't get the office, I'm doomed. So I managed to get some guns, and I did what I could do, the best bank robber, but it was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I did it. Then I never got I bought my house, a new life, and it was okay. And I worked in the treasury department, I was uh, responsible for the bank aspect. That's really strange, you know, from bank robber, yeah. I went to the other part of the desk. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. I've talked to the people on the platform and they can't authorise me getting on the earlier train so I have to speak to the train manager so the plan now is that when the train manager comes I'm going to give him a story and I'm going to try and turn on the tears and if I start crying that he might let me on this train because if he lets me on this train like all the problems are solved. And that's why I don't feel guilty. I just took the money from the bank so I'm not broad, I'm not ashamed, it's life, you know, it's business. If they got me. I would have spent some years in jail. They didn't. I was smarter than them. But I never shoot. I took their gun and I threatened them with their gun. Oh my I goodness. just imagine the situation of the guy. Explain <laughs> that to the police and to the colleagues. So you mean <laughs> that they took your gun and they took the money with your gun? The guy, of course, he said yes. My God. The high speed train hasn't worked. Uh, the ticket doesn't exist and the train manager was less than helpful. So the plan is now to try and make some money enough for the bus. So I think it's going to be about 30 euros or 34 euros. So that's the plan now. Try and make some money and get out of this horrible place. 
people who say that uh, being bank robber uh, is uh, easy. No, it's not easy. It's, yes, of course, if you want to, to kill people. No, I don't want good. No, a good bank robber is a kind of uh, playing poker. You know, it's bl bluff. You know, you can show even sometimes you don't have to show your weapons, but the guy needs to be impressed, be scared yeah. by your attitude. Only that. And you take the money and that's it. No blood. Oh, I don't want blood. I never shoot with anybody. Never. I respect life. Mm -hmm. I prefer to go home, to come back home without money than shooting. No, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's no worse. I don't know where exactly we are at the moment. We are taking a 15 minute break. It's been a lovely little calm journey so far. We've still got to get to the Eiffel Tower after getting off this coach. I just desperately want that bed to myself. I want to be warm, I want my space, and I'm just looking forward to seeing if I'm first place, second place. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I have no idea how everyone else is doing. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Let's see. It's all right, not, not much really going on, to be honest. I haven't really done anything. Just walked around Brussels. Not as fun as it was yesterday. <laughs> Like, day two, that's it, I'm out the game already. Yesterday I was like pumped, I was literally having like the time of my life hitchhiking, like it was just like fun, but like, you see I've even got a smile on my face thinking about it, but today I'm like oh, dragging my feet along the ground, like being like Moby Dick over it. I don't know, God, I can't say Moby Dick, can I? See, the person on the bus told me if I pay on the bus, it's 40 euro, but 40. if I, 40, 4 zero, oh, yeah. but if I pay online, it's 15. Yeah. Could you buy me this ticket if I give you the money? Yes. Yes, yes. Her battery has just died and she's and we have seven minutes before her bus turns up. I was in poor situation thirty years ago. I was living in the street, you know. Mm -hmm. And one guy helped me. Mm -hmm. And he was not expecting anything. And that was amazing, you know, because usually when you help some people. They expect you to do something for them. Mm -hmm. He was not expecting anything. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it was a nice example of human being. Mm -hmm. Five, ten. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. No, 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 here. If you need, maybe you need this on your trip, so keep it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, yes. You're a thousand percent sure? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure yes. Thank you so, so oh, much. Nice, nice to meet you. No, honestly, thank you so much. Can I get a hug? Yeah, thank yeah. you so, so much. He said, you know, the best thing to do the same to other people is you find people in some difficulties and some problems. And that's my philosophy. He put me on the right place. When people say, what can I do for you? Because you had me for this or that. Do the same for other people. Just got to the international train station. Gonna go check out what's the deal with getting on the train, see what the gates and the guards, but it looks quite heavily guarded so far. So we're just gonna see how this goes, to be honest. Pour away, mate, don't be a bit afraid of us. Right, go on, yeah. We'll do the next one. Lads, if you give me the full price of the bus, I'll uh, eat the whole packet. Enjoy that, boys. Uh, so yeah, that's two euro. Jesus no. Oh. We have just been driven the whole way to France by one amazing man. He's away running over asking people if they're going to Paris and if they can give us a lift. <laughs> Honestly, he is so sweet. <laughs> Thank you for trying. Thank you so much. I can ask. Oh, no, we'll be fine. Well, I'll stand around with my sign and I'm sure I'm sure we'll manage to get there. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, honestly, you. so much. Oh, wait, I want to give you something. <laughs> you let us have the Danish or the Belgium things. I want to give you no, the, no, some no, British no, no, biscuits. No, no, <laughs> no, no honestly. No, we, I don't think we will. Honestly, okay. I want you to try the, okay, try some British you. things now. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. I wish you uh, good luck. Thank you so much, and, uh, honestly. Anyway, you, you won. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I hope so. Thank you honestly so much, I had such a good time. <laughs> so obviously me, me being Irish, like coming into an Irish bar to see is there anything I can do to make money? Will you buy a bottle of water off me? Just, it doesn't matter, some small one. That's fine. No, no, just give me one cookie or something. There we go. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate it a lot. The first ration pack 
we'll go for two digestives. I think that'll do it for now. Banging, like, actually banging. The hitchhiking has seemed to be quite successful today. <laughs> so I'm currently standing outside a casino and I have 12 euros and not a lot of time. Do I dare? I think we should try it. Don't think we're getting past this at all. It's a lot of security, like, look on. I mean, everyone's just walking through though, in all fairness. Surely we can get past that bit. Right, just looking at the map of where everybody is, Gordon and Bethany are still in Brussels. We're just outside the Brussels train station now. It looks like Bethany's tracker is in here and Gordon's is in town. So I've just messaged Bethany's cameraman to get her outside and we're gonna go meet Bethany now. So we've been on the coach now for around three to four hours. Uh, we're getting quite close to Paris. I think it's probably gonna be about an hour. Uh, we made some okay-ish friends. Um, I'm joking, no, they've been absolutely lovely. They've helped me get some directions to the Eiffel Tower, which is where the meeting point is for tonight. So I know that I need to get a train uh, from the coach station and then onwards to Eiffel Tower. So I went in, walked around for a little bit, the machines were quite finicky. Then we went and played roulette, got the money up a little bit to about 15 euros and then it just all disappeared. Just didn't go my way. So now the plan is we're going to head back to the train station and we're going to try and sneak the train or sneak the bus and that's the plan from here on out. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey. How are you keeping? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm having the best day. Do you know what though? Like, this is what I was saying though. Like, you smashed yesterday. Mm. But even with my no money challenges, yeah, it's just so up and down. You yeah, could have yeah, yeah. The best day, or you could have the worst. Yeah, definitely. Day. Like, yesterday I was on a high. Now I'm just like, all right. Like, it's all right. Don't want to put more of a downer on it. But now, obviously, it's getting dark. <laughs> What's your plan now? Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna try the train again to be honest I just bottled it the first time I was just there and I probably could have done it but I was, yeah. you know it's just that, like the mind and I'm like Ugh. what I would say then is yeah like, get to the platform like 20 30 minutes earlier right okay just basically scope everything out yeah see how they do it <laughs> look at the other trains on the other platforms yeah have a look at like what the system is okay and then when the train comes pick your door right pick my door yeah and don't like rush to go to one Jimmy just walk down the train just yeah. Try and like work out. Or just like look around, yeah, kind look of around. like. But once you're on the train, yeah. Just stand up, just walk about. When you see them come in, obviously, you know, my okay. classic trick of going in the toilet. Yeah. You know, you can go in the toilet for 10, 15 minutes, let them pass. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> but honestly, like, you can do this 100%. Come here. Thank you. Hopefully, Thank see, you see you in Paris. Paris. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> if I don't. Well, have a good journey. <laughs> have a good one. Oh, are you sure you don't mind? Yeah, no, you stop? Uh, oh, is, that o is that okay? Yeah, Maybe no, he's up no, for no. my train? No, oh. like that will not be oh, the my goodness. police station. Thank you so just much. Just a few minutes from Thank the, you. the end. Thank you so much. Now we have our money for our train and I won't yeah. be scared. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're going to go to the train and get our tickets, which is at half an hour away from the Eiffel Tower. Stuck in traffic uh, and quite annoyingly we're going out of Paris to the east um, so we need to find a way to get to the Eiffel Tower ASAP. I'm after that warm bed tonight. I don't know about you but um, yeah I need a nice warm safe space to sleep tonight and I hope I'm there first. Yeah obviously I'm confident now like today's done I don't think we're gonna run into any more problems but the ticket and stuff earlier was just, yeah, hard work. And this ride's been like five hours long, so. Uh, it's been a pretty deflating day. Um, nothing has worked out, tried a lot of stuff. People just weren't receptive. So it's, it's been a bit of a downer, a mood killer. So last chance now to go up and try and hop on the train to Paris. It's absolutely freezing cold, and I mean freezing. I managed to get some hot water from Pratt. They kindly gave it to me. I'm still in Brussels after God knows how many hours. I'm just still here at the train station trying to get on this train. Obviously, I had that chat with Simon. I don't know how this is going to go. I just, just want to get it over. You know, you just want to get something over and done with. I just want to get on this train, get to Paris. That's it, because I just don't know how this is going to go. And yeah, not looking forward to this in the slightest. Amazing. Thank you so much.
Have a good day. I think they would have been quite difficult to get through because it's... Oh, never mind. Never mind, they just thought it. <laughs> So, managed to blag it onto the train. I've been in the toilet for the last 25 minutes, ticket inspector outside the door, arguing with a man about a ticket and not being able to pay it by credit card. Yeah, maybe see. Ooh, sorry. Be careful on because... Uh... Okay. Maybe see the Eiffel Tower lit up and then... There's a text ticket inspector right there, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do at this very moment. And the fact that we're like literally crossing borders, I don't... I know they're going to come like, up and down the aisle. Like, you know, like in the UK, they shut all tickets and passes. Like, I'm not. I'm getting paranoid. I don't like Paranoia is not a nice feeling. I'm getting paranoid here. When they, go, when they pass or when they're gone, just knock on the door three times. There's a ticket man coming. I definitely think someone's close. A few people, everyone all had the game plan on today. So I think everyone's fairly on game and we started a bit earlier as well so that probably gave everyone a better chance. Excuse me what? Excuse me, uh, Republic? Oui. Oui, maybe. Uh, merci beaucoup. This side and you'll find the metro, it's right there. Le metro? Metro. Metro? Yeah. Oh, metro. On, yeah, metro? Oh, and then how, how long is it on the metro? I don't know, like 10 minutes maximum. That's it? Yeah, yeah, and you'll be in the centre. They're gone. I saw the ticket inspectors like over there and I was like, okay, I'll go to the toilet. Then I heard some doors go in. Someone tried to get into the toilet and I thought, and there was this man outside the toilet and I thought, oh God, I'm looking like dodgy now. So we walk from the first platform. Say nothing. Sick. Sick? It's okay? I get travel sickness really bad. <laughs> so as I was saying before that, um, we, uh, we were on the platform today. Okay. <clears throat> I think we've actually made it to Paris. I think all is clear. Worst experience of my life. Let's go see the Eiffel Tower. We in Paris. So after nearly 12 hours in Brussels, a city I will never, ever, ever again visit, for my own reasons and no fault of the cities, I am now in Paris and I could not be happier. It's the last fish, literally just gonna see it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I can see her. So dramatic in the rain. Really, like, oh my God, oh my God. Woo! Let's hurry up, run, run. All right, let's give Simon a call. Hey, hello. Hey, Simon, how you doing, mate? Hey, how are you, you all right? How are you getting on? We're good, we've just made it to the Eiffel Tower. Just looking up at the, oh my god, it's just started to glisten, um, at the Eiffel Tower. You've made it to the Eiffel, you're there now? Yeah, the portrait trick worked, um, which is great, so I earned enough money to get my uh, coach into Paris. Well, I'd just like to congratulate you, because you're the first one there. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> that makes a change from yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, bumped into uh, Robin, so I'm, yeah, I guess I came second. Hello. Hello, it's Bethany. Mr. Wilson, how are you? Yeah, so I've literally just got to Paris and um, yeah, I'm just trying to find a way to get, you know, central. Unfortunately, you've not got the hotel room tonight. However, I'll text the address for the hostel over. So I'd recommend getting over there, get your head down, get a good night's sleep and we'll catch up in the morning. Sick, Any, <laughs> anything right now is freezing. Perfect, thanks for that, Simon, I appreciate it. All right, cheers, mate, thank you. Bye bye, bye bye. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Lucky me. Jesus Christ, they've given me three beds in here. <laughs> Yay! We made it to Paris. 
today, you know, made me a bit more confident about tomorrow, but I am so scared about tomorrow. I, I definitely think tomorrow is going to be probably the hardest day. So I think I need to get a proper game plan tomorrow and make sure I'm on the go from as soon as we set off. No, like, messing around, you know, trying to just take time, trying to think of things. I need to just be straight away and get on the game. I am definitely ready to go to sleep now, so thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, before we finish today, I just want to thank everyone so much who's donated so far. Honestly, if everybody who watches these videos donate one pound to the Bridge Retreat, we can make such a difference. But tomorrow, there is a big, big twist, and I cannot wait. How does it work, man? Honestly, please, please, I, I, I don't know what I can do.